The European rabbit is one of Australia's most damaging introduced species and has been for over 150 years. Today, the European rabbit is still abundant in Australia and accounts for $600 million of damages annually. Currently, rabbits are still evident across 4 million square kilometres of Australian continent. The European rabbit originated in North France and in Western Africa and it made its way to Australia by, by a man named Thomas Austin who released 24 rabbits into his sheep station in 1859, as they were a popular game animal and a source of food. This seemingly harmless introduction saw the rabbit population rise to 10 million by the 1920s. Feral rabbits are able to breed at the age of four months, and in, in a successful season, being able to produce five to six litters, with an average of eight in each litter. The effects and damages of rabbits is evident in one island that lies... 150 kilometres southeast of Tasmania, which is Macquarie Island. This wildlife sanctuary had had, has had a consistent struggle with rabbits since the introduction in 1879, when Macquarie Island was discovered by a sealing brig and soon became inhabited by sealers who introduced rabbits onto Macquarie Island as a source of food. Within 100 years, the rabbit population reached 150,000. Hunting methods were also used to manage the population of rabbits on Macquarie Island, including the use of dogs, spotlighting, shooting, trapping, netting and gassing burrows. In a way to minimise the population of rabbits in Macquarie Island, introduced a biting insects that are carry the mixed metos. But however, by the late 1900s, the rabbit population was noticeably growing due to the reduced effect of the mixed metosis virus. Another method of reducing rabbit numbers is brodificum. It is an effective anticoagulant toxicant that targets rabbits and rodents. This toxicant takes form in a cereal-based pellet and is spread by hand and helicopter over, over Macquarie Island. For this toxicant to be successful, it must be in access to all target species. Yet brodificum does have some great negative impacts, such as it is likely to, to poison non-target species and can be harmful to humans if consumed. Due to the effectiveness of new technology such as Brodicum, Macquarie Island went back to its natural glory and became a great example of environmental restoration.